get another one? It's supposed to hit mid 90s today so we're gonna try and get there early and hopefully get in some good fishing before the temperatures get up I'm gonna keep this intro a little bit short and sweet save my rants and raves towards the end so if you want to hear all that just make sure you stay tuned till the end well this morning like last week if you saw this video over here we had a really good day and we had really good luck with the trout with the star of the show that day being a 22 inch sea trout we're gonna head back over to the mosquito lagoon and we're gonna meet up with a subscriber that uh, I have talked to recently and he went the day after I did and had similar luck but he was really on the redfish and uh, and snook so that's interesting so we're gonna team up today we're gonna have a little fun make some new friends and see what we can get into uh, before I run real quick a quick note with the summer right around the corner, when you got these hot temperatures and all that kind of stuff, I mean, I'm from the West Coast. I was stationed in the high desert. I've been to Iraq, all oh, some some pretty hot areas. And I will tell you, with this humidity, you definitely whether it's dry heat or humidity, you need to hydrate the day before. Hydrating the the, the, the day of or once you're out there, it's almost too late. Um, once you start getting thirsty, you're already dehydrated. So make sure that when you're planning a trip that the day before, maybe even two days before, you start hydrating more. And one thing that if you're in an area like here in Florida where it is a little bit more humid, well, even in dry heat, but especially where it's humid and you're losing a lot of fluids, you need to make sure that you're replacing those electrolytes, all right? Um, they have things like liquid IV and all those kind of things that you can put in your water that will really help it out. And I highly suggest that if you're planning on going fishing and the temperatures are supposed to get, you know, low 90s and up, maybe even upper 80s, make sure that you start hydrating at least the day before, if not sooner. All right? Because it's too late once you're already dehydrated and once you get a heat stroke, you know, they come more frequent and more common uh, after you've had the first one. So stay hydrated, stay hydrated. Anyway, everybody. I will see you guys over at the boat ramp on Mosquito Lagoon. Side lines. sunrise Wowie that's beautiful Bugs are pretty bad this morning and Super cool guy that we just met up with super cool gave me some stuff That should be work that worked for him last time Last time they loved this uh, Keaton spook. So we're gonna try that again for sure. Man, that sunrise. Woo, can't beat that. Look at that. <laughs> I'm gonna try just a random cast real quick before we head out.
A lot of fish hitting right now. Dang, I just hit one foot right here of water. Got a flutter kick to get out of here. Boy, those bugs are bad right now. Got our buddy over here. And then you got that beautiful sunrise over here. We need to get to some deeper water. Well, forecast was a little bit wrong. The wind's picking up a lot sooner. So I'm gonna switch things up a little bit. Throw in the kitchen sink at them. Nothing seems to be working right now. Buddy is uh, tearing it up. He's gotten what I think a 20 inch trout, uh, snapper. Looks like he just got something else. Get another one? Did you get another one? 23 inch trout right in front of those. Gotcha. I caught a small 15 inch redfish. Found the puffer fish. Yikes. Well, I'm trying. Sometimes it's just not your day. I'm using the same thing my buddy's using, and he's catching. I had one good blow up, and I set the hook too soon. So. Oh, boy, it's getting hot fast. I don't know how much I want to keep going till I get a fish, but uh, it's just not looking like I'm going to get anything today. Fade to 
I'd be lying if I said it doesn't get frustrating sometimes. My buddy's got a couple redfish and a couple good sized trout too. I've got nothing but cover fish. And I've gone through <laughs> four or five pieces of plastic thanks to those things. Ay, ay, ay. Well, let's see. Maybe I can get something on the way back. Well, you might be wondering, wait, the video is done already? Yeah, it's one of those days. I tried everything, everybody. I really did. It just wasn't happening for me today. I almost called it quits early just because I couldn't get nothing, but thankfully I had good company today and met a new uh, friend to go fishing with. And um, talk about goals. He's a good fella and uh, definitely someone I plan on going fishing with, but uh, you know, I think he's in his 70s and he still gets out there on that kayak and goes fishing and guess what? He schooled me today. I was using the, he gave me, he was super kind and gave me um, a bunch of baits and uh, lures that he's using. So after he caught a mangrove snapper and a, and a redfish and a trout, I started switching over to what he was using because I'm not a dummy, I'm gonna use what's working. And um, I still couldn't get anything. I mean, I will admit, fishing's fishing and it's always nice to get out there but there's nothing more fr well it's always frustrating when you can't get on the fish but it's even more frustrating when the person you're with is catching them like crazy thankfully it was good company i'm super stoked he got on the fish and he ended up catching you know what i don't know two or three redfish i think the mangrove snapper and some decent sized trout i think he said one was like 18 or 20 inches i'm not positive but he tore it up today. I just could not do it, you know, and uh, if you go fishing, you know there's days like that. And, uh, you know, as I started to get frustrated, you know, I, I remind myself that uh, that's just how it is. You know, you can't have epic days every single time, but the fact that I got to meet someone new, I got to learn some new things, because he's full of all kind of knowledge and fishing and all that, so, in my opinion, that was just a huge win. So, and it was a beautiful day, but it's hot. It's 91 already. It's uh, almost one o'clock. So I was getting hot. You know, you had that heat with not catching anything and everybody around you catching stuff. It's just, I won't lie. It's, it's just natural to get a little frustrated. You know, like, what am I doing? What am I doing wrong? And sometimes you're not doing anything wrong. And that's why I still posted the video Sometimes it is what it is. The way I look at it, it just means that uh, I got a pretty epic trip coming, so stay tuned for that. But uh, yeah, today was a win. The Mosquito Lagoon along the Biolab Road, the bite is slow, the water's clear, but there's definitely fish in there. I did see a school of maybe half a dozen reds, decent sized reds go by me, and I did flip my paddle tail at him and I did get a hit and I set the hook too soon my bad so I did catch like six puffer fish though but I'm not counting those and then this is the other reason why I was getting frustrated is I went through like seven things of plastics probably like 10 15 dollars worth of plastics because those puffer fish were just biting them up so you know you can look, you know, it's all about perspective. You can look at it as, oh man, what a crappy day or whatever. Or you can look at the, 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 the glass half full thing. And that is, it's a beautiful day. We learned more, we got some more experience. We got on the water. We met uh, some uh, a new friend. And uh, you know, all those things in my opinion outweigh the whole not catching a fish. Yes, I'd like to catch a fish, but it's still a win in my book, so. Anyway, everybody, I appreciate you for watching. I apologize I couldn't get on the fish today. I tried everything. I really, really did. It was just so hot. And I even threw that uh, top water that I caught this 22-inch uh, sea trout and a few others last time on. And this time, 
I couldn't even get a, 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 a simple blow up on it. So, just wasn't my day. And some days, it's just not your day. So, glad my friend was able to get on some fish and have a good day. We'll probably go out and meet him again and go fishing. So, anyway everybody, you know me. Now that uh, I just got the big fat skunkarooski, I'm going to double down and try and get back after it maybe tomorrow or the next day. Uh, I am trying to get on some snook. I am enrolled in like a little um, like competition tournament thing for uh, Bahio sunglasses. And I think this week is your five biggest snook total lengths and you get a free pair of sunglasses. So I'm, I'm just trying. I, I mean, I enrolled into it. I don't know if we'll be able to get on some snook, let alone five. I haven't even caught five snooks, snook total in my life. You know, I think I've only caught three snook total. So, but hey, maybe we can make it happen. I was thinking maybe I'll try Port Canaveral off the jetties. You know, uh, maybe some live mullet. You know, that's a good, it's a good option to try and get on some big snook to uh, at least put some fish on the board. But um, yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll see what the plan is. To, oh, I gotta take my car in tomorrow. Ah, I gotta get oil changed and get a few things looking at. She's not running the best, as usual. If you watch my videos, you know. Dang it. All right, well, maybe I'll try Friday, depending on how the car goes. Dang it, I forgot about that. I really wanted to go try and get some stuff tomorrow. Anyway, everybody, I'm, I'm rambling here. Thanks for watching. I will catch you in the, the, the next one, everybody. Tight lines. Peace.